the pound. Uh, the next one we want to look at is the pound yen, and you can see, even though, even though, the yen is quite strong. I mean, this is the index for the yen, and we are long the in the yen index from June May the fifth, May the eighth as of 125.60 so we have, about, we have about a couple of hundred pips on the yen index as a whole that is quite a strong close but if you look at the pound yen you can see that we had this push up on Friday looking at this you can see that the major structural point as you can see here on the chart and on the radar screen is the 122.50 and most of the guys that we were trading together on Friday you can see that this is what happened on the on Friday at or around the 122.50 structure point it traded above it and below it five times it broke below it once twice three times four times and every time it breaks below it it only goes to a certain extent and then it reverses and it turns back up again so the lesson is if I have a structural point that has been broken four or five times with no follow through to the downside Paul with no follow through to the downside Khalid then the market is saying I am going now into the opposite direction because we have taken the short as you remember four or five times on that Friday the day before yesterday and now the market says I'm going to the other side and that's why we got this powerful uh, short covering rally and once we have that power in, powerful short covering rally we should be patient with it because these are the best trades in the world the best trade that you can ever take the one that will give you the fastest reward is the short covering rally and it has moved about a hundred pips from 122.50 to 123.60 and now it is sitting at the high of the range so this way I want I'm looking at it on the daily chart I know from the index that the Japanese yen is strong and if you look at the chart for the pound yen yes it looks like a buy but it is still an inside day The only trigger for a buy was when it came above the 122.50. But the total outcome, it is still inside this congestion. Therefore, I need to be cautious and I will buy it only when it trades above the high, which is in this case the 123.78. So my buying point is going to be. the 123.78 that's going to be my buying point and I am looking if it gets it takes out this high it should go to the next structure point which we have which is the 127.30 and of course it does makes a lot of sense if this thing is, a, is a really a turnaround and this thing should be flying it should go up towards the 127.30 
and if I buy it above the 123.78, I'm going to place my stop right there, right below the one daily high, because as I said, I need continuation. So the one daily high is the 123.50. Two. Okay, on the short side, I have to look at the intraday chart to identify a potential place where I can initiate a short. As you can see, this is a powerful short covering rally. Uh, any move anywhere over here would still be construed as a buying opportunity it would be construed as a gift so therefore we will only sell it when it trades below the two daily low in this case which is the 123.07 so our short point is going to be below the 123.07 and if I short it over here below the 123.07 I am not I can use this daily high as my stop so therefore my stop which is good I'm using I'm taking a trade below a daily low and I'm putting my stop above a daily high so then my stop is going to be 123.52 which is again the same stop that I have for my long position and my structure short point is now going to be the 122.50 again So, the pound yen, I'm buying above 123.78. And if I do, I have a structure long point at 127.30. So I can have, if this thing is going to continue higher, then the magnet that's going to push the, pull the prices up is 400 pips away. So that should be a pretty good move. And my stop is going to be below the 123.52 on the short side I'm going to go short below 123.07 which is the two daily low and I'm going to use the same daily high which is my stop on the other one as my stop so my stop is the same for the long and the short as 123.52 and my structure short point is going to be the granddaddy of all the one that has we, we have been trading all the last week which is the 122.50 okay that is the pound yen let me save that